Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Display and Tech Review. This is Izen and like always I'm going to show you the calibration settings for the LG Ultra Gear GN600 series. It's the 32 inch version and it's calibrated to the industry standards. I hope whoever has it enjoys it. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna get, we're gonna press on the middle button on the menu and then go to the menu and it's gonna pop up. Next, we're going to choose Gamer 2, all right? Then we're gonna head down. If we don't chase ga one, Gamer 1 or two, uh, or frame per second, RTS, Vivid, Reader, HDR effect, none of those. Only Gamer 1 and 2 gives us the most um, available menus for the settings to work. And I had to work on this monitor a lot because even though it's certified for HDR, doesn't really get that bright. And the colors, the green mostly, do not uh, display properly. So I had to do semi-heavy adjustments. Okay, let's do it again. Go to the menu. And then on menu, we're going to choose the gamer mode 2. Then we're going to head down to... Uh, game adjust we're gonna take a uh, free sync premium leave it on then on black stabilizer we're gonna head over and we're gonna to rate you're gonna raise it to 60 I think it starts at 50 As you notice it makes a subtle change to the brightness of it it's basically too dark for the gamer too so and for the gamma appearance Response time, you could put it to whichever you prefer. I choose it fast. I could go faster, but I'll leave it there. Crosshair the same, and that's just to reset the settings. Then we head over to picture adjust. On this one, on brightness, we're gonna go leave it at 100, okay? Then on contrast, this one, we're going to drop it to 67. If you have a lower, raise it to 67. It's going to keep creating the gray bars instead of pinkish bars. That way you have um, correct uh, contrast. Then we're going to go to sharpness. And on sharpness, I think I dropped it to 70 or raise it to 70. Not sure, but on this one, the sharpness was pretty accurate and it wasn't creating that ghosting effect that it does, like double sharpness on the edges. So this is the one I chose. Just make sure it's more confident to your area. Let me go back to the menu. Then after sharpness, we're gonna go down to gamma. And gamma I had issues because every time you change it, you can see the variations of of colors was the main one to be able to drop the to drop it to a 2.2 uh, industry standards then on color temp I was very tempted to put it on C1 it usually starts at 0 C1 is quite the correct one but then again C1 didn't allow me to touch the RGB because it grazes them out so what I did, I decided to choose for custom, and then on custom, it allowed me to change the red, green, and blue. It's only one level, so it only allows me to do one change, and then depending on that change, that either affects the lower settings of the brightness or the high settings of the brightness. So I tried to look for a mid area, and then, so on red, green, and blue here, once you choose on color temperature custom, on red, green, and blue, on red, you're gonna move it to 51. On green, you leave it at 50. And then on blue, you're going to raise it or drop it to 53. And then we're gonna head back over to the 
to, to the color management on the six colors. And this one is the one that was a little heavy that I had to do some adjustments, make sure that it wasn't go, going whack and try to make the best adjustments as possible. So on this one, the cis color on red, on red hue, I dropped it to 45. Then on red saturation, I raised it to 51. Then on green hue, I raised it to 62. I try not to touch green at all, but like I said earlier, green um, was not displaying properly. So I guess this panel, this panel, this VA panel doesn't really show greens that well. Um, might be the reason why, even though it's such a good monitor, it's the, the and you know, with a good high refresh rate, the panel doesn't really show that much about it. But it's get, it gets pretty close to the calibrations and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it. So on green hue, you raise it to 62. On green saturation, to 65 then on the blue hue you raise it to 63 and on blue saturation you raise it to 60 I mean 54 then we go to cyan hue you drop it to 48 and cyan saturation you raise it to 53 on magenta hue you raise it to 58 and on magenta saturation, you raise it to 55. And on yellow hue, you raise it to 40, I mean 58. And on yellow saturation, then you drop it to 40. All right, sorry, here. And then DFC, I leave it off. Picture setting that you don't like it, you could just go back to regular settings and enjoy whatever the monitor is showing you. And then after that, you make sure that everything's correct. Go to the input, input list, you already, I already um, doing the, sat the calibrations on display port. If I will have an HDMI port for uh, Xbox or PlayStation, then that would change the picture adjustments and then it would add the black level, which is grayed out right now. I guess I might do another video about it if I do an HDMI. And in general, you just leave everything the way it is. And with this, we are done. That's it, everyone. I hope you like the calibration settings that I did for the LG Ultra Gear uh, monitor. Also, don't forget to see the HDR uh, calibration settings for it, which I will be posting very soon. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or comments, just write it down below. This is Ethan, and now and always, thank you for watching.